if you come back right here and I see you catching my crayfish, well, you're gonna have bad time, fella. I can't believe he just did that shit. I'm gonna call my buddy Buckeye Fuck, and he's gonna come over here and <laughs> shove a fucking carbon steel pipe up your booty, okay? Is that what you want? Buckeye Fuck. <laughs> Worst and demonetized. <laughs> hey, Buckeye Fuck, get over here. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Dicky Dines Show. Stuck in my head, dude. Did you just come up with that? Uh, maybe I should record it. You know, it might be a hit one day. <laughs> All right. Today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are doing a fun little thing. You probably saw by the title of the video. Uh, I We asked people, um, what is the grossest thing you've ever experienced? <sighs> I hate that noise. Sorry, what about this I one? hate that noise. Stop! <laughs> it's like right in my ear, too. I hate it. We asked you, what is the grossest thing you've ever experienced at a live concert before? And I just want Ooh. to give you... <laughs> A little bit of a disclaimer here. If you are easily squeamish by bodily fluids, keep watching. Uh, such as puke, piss, shit, or cum. Uh, <laughs> That's my might, Saturday night, baby. You might not want to watch this episode. Piss, puke, shit, or cum. So it's I my Tinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> shit, puke, or cum. Yeah, I'm like, okay, swipe. Fucking nope. No thanks. <laughs> Um, there was a lot of that in the replies in the comments when I was looking for uh, comments to screenshot for this video. Um, Fair. A lot. So I included some of them, but there are... Uh, uh, oh, blood. I forgot to mention blood, too. Mm. Um, no images, no pictures, but just we will be discussing these fluids. So... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that sentence is so funny. We will be discussing these fluids. <laughs> so without further ado, what is the grossest oh. thing you have seen at a live concert? So I'm, uh, I'm not prepared for this. First one, it comes from Cameron Travis, and uh, he says, was at a local venue, no longer a venue. It was a grimy basement, but sounded awesome. The vocalist was hanging from a pipe. Pipe broke. R. Kelly all over everyone because it was a sewage pipe. <gasps> Golden hashtag golden showers gore. <laughs> oh, well, it's not just it's got a. Oh, you got it all. That's what I'm saying. If you don't like any of these bodily fluids, yeah, we're gonna be having a lot of discussions. Just imagine the stink. Yeah, pipe all these broke. sweaty people, and then they get pee pee yeah. poo pooed on. Yeah, bro, why? Yeah. Oh, why is there a sewage pipe on the ceiling? <laughs> Yucky. I don't know. Uh, Adam Curry says, uh, my dude, Travis Ryan, who is the vocalist of Cattle Decapitation, by the way, mm -hmm. hawked a loogie into the air, catches it in his hand or catches it on his hand, snorts it, re-hawks it, loog -ception. And then that one went somewhere. Yeah, that one went, went somewhere. Oh, dude, that's yeah. That's like he cast an enchantment spell on his loogie. And then yeah, he, he fucking infected some kid in the audience. <laughs> that kid's a vegan now. <laughs> <laughs> Every night, Travis gets one enchanted loogie. <laughs> day I by mean, day, slowly changing the world. Tra he does do that a lot. The cattle decap guy, mm -hmm. he spits all yeah, over the place. Yeah, I've seen him spit up and like catch it before. I've seen other people do that, but spinning it up, catching it, snorting it, and then shooting it again is like... That's next level. What was that extra part you just did? That's next <laughs> level. Uh, Richard Charles Nordberg Blom says... <laughs> okay, dude. Chill. <laughs> he says, my first OzFest that I went to, I witnessed a guy in the mosh pit have his eyeball knocked out ah! of his socket. <laughs> what do you mean? No. <laughs> Oh no, dude! What? Oh, like he was dangling and shit. There it goes. Oh, that's I. I hate eye stuff. Eye stuff is a hard one to not feel like it's happening to you. Yeah. Where would that be? Do you think you still see a little? With well, like you see dangling? out of it. You see out like, of one eye probably. Well, but if, if this one was like not knocked out, but still like not still attached. Yeah. Oh, still, I don't know. Like, do you think you'd see down or something? 
I mean, maybe. Well, that'd be trippy. He'd, just, he'd probably get knocked out. I wouldn't even know. But. He just, like, lifts it up and looks behind <gasps> him. Dude, imagine. He, like, he, like, tuck, he, like, tucks it behind his ear so he can see behind him at all times. Dude, new fear unlock, getting dirt in your eye tentacle Ooh. that comes out, your eye stem. Getting yeah. Getting dirt in that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Uh, Vicky... Dorpenhau says, or Dorpenhaus, I don't know how to pronounce it. She says, this is crazy. A lady gave birth and I watched the whole thing. Needless to say, I opted for C-sections with my kids. I was 14 when I saw it and that messed me all the way up. And then someone responded and says, you go to some strange shows. And she says it was a punk show. I think the first question should be, why did you watch the whole thing? I mean, it's probably like a car crash. I just couldn't look away. It's like 14 yeah. years old watching a woman give birth at a concert. Just right in front. Like, that's odd. That's very weird. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never. <laughs> Do you think they crowd surfed the baby? <laughs> yeah. The baby's first live show. It's like, comes out he's got a mohawk he just <laughs> loves punk music yeah that's pretty horrific that sounds it's like a movie scenario <laughs> okay this one is this is a good one all right david henry says strap in folks my 20th birthday i won tickets to see ted nugent in the middle of nowhere wisconsin i got insanely hammered pre-show as stranglehold started there was an odor that was so strong you could taste it. I looked to the wall, and that's when I saw a 50 or so year old couple going hard. Like, really hard. His overalls were at his feet, and her sundress was completely hiked up. She looked like your grade school lunch lady. Right on cue, he pulled out. And she juiced all over the floor. I immediately vomited. Thank you, David Henry, for sharing that with us. Ted Nugent, Wisconsin. What can what can you say? You know. Oh, hey, dude, he painted a picture. I felt like I was there. Yeah, that was horrible. To reveal that the stink in the air was old fuck. That's insane. And then the term he said she juiced. I don't think I've ever heard somebody say that. That's fucking foul, dude. She juiced all over the floor. It's Fifty Shades of... It's Fifty Shades of Ted, dude. Dude. Oh, fucking nude. That was foul. That was a horrible story. I hope yeah. you feel better now that it's out in the world and not just in your brain. But I, it hurts psychically to know that that happened. Thank you, David Henry. Uh, this next one... From Philip Fisher says, saw a dude's leg get kicked in at the knee at a Lamb of God concert in 2008. It was my first metal concert and I was 12. The image of his leg being almost 90 degrees the opposite way was kind of traumatizing. Yeah, that. Ooh. Yeah, I think it, this is like one of the first times the trigger warning was like <laughs> necessary. Yeah, no, I'm these saying are, like these are gnarly yeah. stories this time around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, dude, gross. The, getting, getting your knee kicked in that way is like the worst because people dislocate that shit. It happens. Like it's bad, but it's like okay, it's not the worst. But the invert, like ah, yeah. dude, I fucking hate those gym videos. Yeah, I, just, I was trying not where, to say it to where them. they're doing the leg press yeah. and suddenly their legs go back. <laughs> Backwards. Oh, no. Those are the worst videos in existence. The, right. the, they're the only videos I will watch, and I'll I'll literally go. Oh God! I can't watch. I think like, yeah, I've seen like two and been like, no, I'm good forever. Dude, I can't watch that shit, man. The, it's the worst thing. Those the moments of after it happens Ugh. and trying to get the weight off of them is like the most. Ugh. That's got to be the worst. The last layer of hell, right? Literal there. worst. <laughs> Lucas Dick says, uh, I was at a Christian rap uh, show with my family. The grossest thing there was my entire family of 14 people were all wearing matching tie-dye shirts. <laughs> There were so many eyes of judgment on us. This is the grossest thing. It's like, can you believe these fucking freaks? <laughs> these Christian freaks with their tie-dye shirts. All probably 14 thought you guys were, of them. thought you guys were pagans. <laughs> yeah, or Mormon or something. 
That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I thought it, they the, were the Christians were disgusting. <laughs> I thought that'd be a fun one to include, uh, yeah, especially after with all the violence. Oh like, yeah, nice to have a, little, a cheer, more cheery one of like, oh, the hippies are being made fun of. A little break. Trisha Lynn Ray says, "I went to see LMFA- LMFAO and I did MDMA." My boyfriend at the time. <laughs> you're right. My boyfriend at the time threw up into a girl's drink. Oh no! Don't super chunky. I watched her pick the no. drink up, no. and she chugged it. <laughs> Why? She didn't even notice. Why is the story gotta go there? I have seen that before, by the way, somebody in person. Yes, beer. there was a, a gross food challenge at this Christian camp that I went to one time, and they had these cups, and the cups had um, uh, uh, blended Happy Meals in them. So there was an entire burger, fries. Uh, ketchup, everything like like a Happy Meal blended what in a blender, a waste. and then they put like a little bit of like Coca Cola to make it drinkable. And there was like four people on different teams, and they had to drink it. Well, this one lady was taking a drink, she put it down, and then she looked over this way and was talking to like her friend or something. The dude next to her picks up the can or the cup. It was like a big cup or whatever, and he just goes, Bleh. he throws up in it and puts it down. She turns around, not even. Just, she looks and she just goes, and it's it's a blended Happy Meal, so you can't even tell. But the second she started drinking it, people were like, oh, "No, no, no, stop, stop, stop!" And she was like, "What?" Like, because she couldn't tell. I was already foul. We all saw but it was probably like yeah. warm. We all saw this dude throw up into her glass, her cup, her whatever, and then she was just like, "Oh, glug, 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 glug. and we're all just like. Ugh. That is so fucking disgusting. It's dude. the worst to see that shit happen. Oh it is awful. Um, okay, this next one is from Alex Bonken, and he says, "My keyboardist shitting in a bucket during a concert while playing." And then someone replied and said, "The show must flow on." Nice opportunity. Uh, yeah, dude, I don't yeah. think I've ever had to shit that bad. Yeah, it's, that's pretty bad. Like, I've always been able to tough it out and just like, oh, yeah, my stomach's just going to hurt for a while. That's like some definite, like, you, you got yeah, like, like IBS, or, IBS or, something. Yeah, or something. If you can't hold yeah. the poopy. That's, I mean, mm-hmm. do what you got to do. Yeah. The show must flow on. Show must flow on. I uh, Paul Simon Lonsdale says, I had a friend who got peed on at a Steel Panther gig. Just in the pit. Dude just stood there and he peed. Just on people. What? Yeah. And nobody beat the shit out of him? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Steel Panther, they're all probably so fucking drunk. Right, they're like, nice. No, yeah, no, dude. I That's just, hilarious. I just pissed my pants 10 minutes ago, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You in the piss pit, brother? Steel Panther for life. Steel Panther, boys. Let's go. Uh, Jimmy Warrington says a uh, drunk dude tried to do a backflip off a stage uh, that was barely two feet tall, landed directly on his head, immediately threw up everywhere while the back of his head was gushing blood. Oh my God. Had to stop the show for a good 20 minutes to clean it up. I don't think I've ever seen somebody get a head injury and vomit from it. That's, that's bad. That's like that's so bad. worrying. Yeah. That's. I just, Intent, like that's your really your body's bad. like, I don't know, just something's wrong. So <laughs> yeah. get, get rid of everything. That's that's bad. Oh my god, dude. I don't like yeah. that one. And then oh, the potential of getting puke in your wound, <laughs> your yeah. head wound. Uh, Aiden McKay La Liberté says, uh, uh, bl- bloody tampon smeared all over the floor of the mosh pit. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a mouse initially, and I kicked it. It was not a mouse. So. Mm. Dude, I hope you threw those shoes away. That's never coming off. <laughs> so there's that. That's that's a yeah, not very fun. Not very fun. Um, Maddie Scully says Blue Ridge Rock Festival after two days. Those porta potties were awful. Also, I have heard so many stories about how fucking terrible Blue Ridge Rock Festival has been the last couple of years, and they need to get their shit together right yeah like i have heard so many stories it's impressive that people are like we gotta like everyone's still like excited to go do it and then it's like you hear another horror story and you're like why does everybody want to go do this it's like yeah just not clean un 
understaffed, unprepared, not well planned. I don't know. Communicative. I don't know. Yeah. Confrontational. I've heard multiple Dirty. people uh, saying some stuff about. Anyway. Um, so, next one is from Sean Robertson. He said, dude pissed his pants and then decided to crowd surf. Yeah. What an asshole. <laughs> Imagine just like. What a piss hole. Oh, it's wet. Why is oh, it wet? Oh, yeah. Some damp, stinky oh. motherfucker. Why is it wet? <laughs> <laughs> It's warm. Well, yeah, if I'm dude, if I'm helping a crowd surfer and I touch his warm wet piss, I'm hitting him. Somewhere. <laughs> he just I'm punched him, him in somewhere. the ass. Whatever I see, I'm hit. I'm punching him in the fucking right in the kidney. That's funny. Uh, Travis Hill says the chick from Brass Against giving a dude a golden shower at Rockville. I think a lot of people have seen this. Have you seen this clip? No. You ne- you have not seen this clip? Oh, I think, dude, I think I've seen that thumbnail. So he's laying on the stage. He's laying on the stage. Yeah, yeah, and she's squatting and over she him. And she squats over and, his no, face. I haven't clicked on it because I don't want that image in my head. All I have to say is she had to have had to piss mm. for <laughs> hours because it was an ungodly high flow of piss. You were, it was a lot were of piss. Born a toilet. Stop letting people poop, 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 poop on you. It was a lot of piss. No more. It was a lot. Ugh. Um. Okay, let's see. We have uh, disgusted. We have a few more here. Um. Jonathan Dennis says an old friend of mine got jizzed on at a Slipknot concert right, in Brisbane. <laughs> course it would happen in brisbane just just like no context to some guy that came on and then uh uh someone said wtf and then he responded yeah she was pretty disgusted but we all laughed about it in the end (laughs) that's crazy yeah i think that's crazy like traumatized for life from that (laughs) i'm glad you could just laugh that off yeah that's wild whose gum is this (laughs) (laughs) carl bartholomew says i'm not saying what it was but I did it. It was hilarious, <laughs> and I'm proud of it. <laughs> You're timing, you devious bastard. <laughs> Wonder who came. Wonder who came. Was his name fucking Bumble Snoot or something? Bartholomew. <laughs> Bumble Snoot. <laughs> Bartholomew is the cum culprit. He's the cum culprit. Uh, Glenn Silvers says uh, there was a dude. Passed out. Nice. Needle in arm. Less nice. Pantsless. Nice. Shit himself. Less nice. Someone then pissed on him. Less nice. <laughs> Pantera, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> the sign off makes it sound like Pantera did that to him. <laughs> no, Pantera show, yeah. Albuquerque, New Mexico. And someone replied and said, Good old Albuquerque. <laughs> Good old Albuquerque. Dude, what the? F- Somebody's pissed on him. Yeah. At- <laughs> That's so funny of like somebody shitting, like somebody having to go pee so bad and then they see some guy shit himself and he's like perfect right the perfect opportunity this guy's a toilet no one will think i'm the weird one <laughs> everyone will be focused on shit shit ass over here <laughs> uh mitchell cyrus says lady pissed by my leg like not on it but like by it and then uh dusty ruins responded lucky bro and he's a top fan too. He's a top D- fan. Dusty ruins. <laughs> Dusty ruins everything. <laughs> I also I love the phrasing of a lady pissed by my leg. Yeah. I feel like it implies you could move away. From right. Like, oh god. Like she's just pissing next to you, and you're like, really, really, like <laughs> scooting it close. You're like, come on, seriously, you're just gonna do that right here? Lucky bro. <laughs> uh, Cody Seeger says, uh, I watched a chick squat and shit in the pit at Ozfest 06. When System of a Down was on main stage, it was more liquid than anything else, and it smelled like it had been fermenting for at least a week. Such an unneeded detail that it stunk also. The big old wet shit stunk. Good. Yeah. Thanks for making me think of that. She's squatting shit, he said. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we might actually get demonetized for this one. No, uh, for sure. Are. We're definitely <laughs> we, not getting I monetized. I think we actually this will be on this one. There was one a, cute story. It's pretty bad. I I can't I can't hear you in the in the headphones. As your producer, we're keeping this on Patreon. You're welcome, Patreon exclusive members. <laughs> but we'll post it. We'll we'll get it up there. We'll get it up there. Um yeah, that's the yeah. I'm gross. Uh, I'm disgusted. I'm impressed. I'm uh, thankful. I'm hungry. I'm <laughs> star. I'm famished for some shit and piss and cum. 
Um, yeah, so this this might get uh, taken off YouTube, but it will be on Patreon 100%. So, it'll, uh, it'll never yeah. be taken out of our minds. Yeah, no. So you're Even welcome. if we want it to be. You're welcome for that one. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know that you're a sick fucker. Uh, and yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. So... Thanks. Thanks for thanks. I for, threw up in a hat once. <laughs> <laughs>